Hi, my name is Nick Kalyani. I'm the co-founder of Dot New Corporation. In this video, I will demonstrate the scalability and application integrity features of Dot New Professional Edition 5.1. So what you're seeing here is a Dot New Professional Edition 5.1 website. I'm logged in as the super user. I'm now going to go to the host page, and this shows you all the available options for. Uh, both the basic or community edition and also the professional features. I'm going to click on manage web servers which takes me to the page where I can configure my web servers uh, for caching and also to to let that then you know which web servers participate in the web form associated with this installation of .NET Nuke professional. So the first thing you'll notice is that the caching provider here is set to file based caching provider. With .NET Nuke professional edition we provide a web request caching provider. This is an advanced caching provider that makes network traffic between the servers in your web form more efficient by using a REST based call to a web service between servers instead of using a polling mechanism. The net effect of this is that the amount of network traffic uh, needed in order to ensure that cache synchronization between the web form servers uh, is consistent is greatly reduced. So I'll save this here. Uh, the user interface for this is similar to community, community edition. However, the caching provider, web request caching provider, is only available to professional edition customers. If you haven't configured it before, it's very simple. What you do is you look at the number of uh, aliases that are present in your uh, particular configuration for your .NET website, and you choose the alias that is associated with each server in the web form. Typically, organizations will have external facing uh, addresses and internal facing addresses, which are uh, on pr a private network perhaps for the web farm servers to, to communicate with each other. So you choose the appropriate URLs that will be used and save that configuration. And from that point onward, the appropriate caching provider will be used and your web farm will be enabled. Now, as a benefit to our professional edition customers, we do provide a web form configuration guide. This is a detailed 27 page guide that provides you all the information you need in order to uh, create and configure a web form using .NET Nuke. As you can see from the table of content here, it goes into a lot of detail about just about every aspect of the web form configuration. So this is a handy document to have when you begin to configure your web form using .NET Nuke Professional Edition and it is available to Professional Edition customers through the .NET Nuke support network which is our online gateway to all the .NET Nuke Professional Edition uh, services and benefits. The next Professional Edition feature I want to demonstrate is the application integrity feature. You again access this feature as a super user and it is available in the professional edition professional features section of the host page so when you click on application integrity what dotnet new professional does is it scans through all the files on the site uh, in your dotnet new installation and does a check to determine what files have been changed the intent of this particular feature is to is twofold first and foremost if you are troubleshooting application problems it helps you isolate where perhaps the problem might lie if, for example, a, a file has been inadvertently changed, it would cause uh, errors and you might be able to use this particular feature to isolate that. The second uh, use is uh, to detect any tampering. So in case your site has been maliciously tampered with, this is the place where you can tell exactly what files were changed and uh, w what uh, changes were made. So here what you can see is I've run the file integrity checker and it tells me uh, that it has finished checking it gives me a list of all the files that are unmodified it gives me a list of modified files and you might see files here that are typically configuration files that are used by dotnet nuke uh, in order to uh, ensure the proper functioning of your website but if you see files here that are unexpected or especially uh, script files with aspx or ascx extensions that indicates to you that perhaps some of the core dotnet nuke files have been uh, modified or tampered with and you need to take a look at them. So it also indicates any missing files uh, if uh, that were removed subsequent to installation of the package and it has a section for other files also. So these are the features uh, 
related to scalability and application integrity in .NET Nuke Professional Edition 5.1. Thank you.